Hi everyone, welcome to Best Science Brain YouTube channel. Today we are looking at physics practicals alternative, alternative B, Kwayek, May, June 2024. Physics practical like the question. So today we are going to take a look at one of the specimen that question number one that involve a converging lens you can see in the diagram the l they represent the converging lens then the object is the ray boss which is a wooden boss that has a bulb inside it on the ray boss you're going to see a cross wire on the hole the diameter of the hole is ao and that stands for your object the distance between the ray boss and the lens is called U, that is the, the object distance. Then behind the lens, you're going to see a screen placed behind the lens. So in this experiment, in the actual experiment, you're going to place the lens at a distance that I'm giving to you, U, at a distance from the ray boss, which stands, for the, uh, stands as the object. Then you're going to adjust the lens until the image is formed, a sharp image is formed on the screen. You can see the cross wire on the screen with the image there on that cross wire. That S stands for screen. And the letter small a stands for the image diameter formed on the screen. Why small a o stands for the size of the, the diameter of the ray boss, which stands for the object size. Then A, you go to measure it as the image diameter on the screen then we're going to we're not going to do the live practical here but we're going to teach you how to obtain your values by calculation then you can see this is the converging lens or convex lens given to you and the specimen gave us a converging lens or focal length 15 cm the converging lens is on the lens holder then you see the white screen that the white screen over there given to you that the white screen then behind the converging lens you're going to have a ray boss as illustrated in the diagram so let's go back to the equation and understand it before we start manipulating the values it says you're provided with a illuminated object converging lens screen meter rule and other necessary materials number one measure the and record the size ao of the illuminated object the size ao stands for the size of the hole that is the diameter of the hole of the ray boss which you're going to measure okay number i i place the object o and the screen S on opposite sides of the converging lens. The object is the ray boss, and the screen is on the other side, opposite side of the ray boss. Then three, place the number three, set the distance between the object and the lens U to be equal to 25 cm. So you have to keep the distance between you, between the lens and the ray boss to be that you to be equal to the 5 cm. Number I V adjust the screen until a sharp image of the illuminated object is obtained on the screen. So you're going to adjust the screen at the back, adjust it until a sharp image is formed of this. Cross, cross wire is formed on the screen then number five measure and record the size a e of the image image so you measure and record the size or the diameter of the image that is a formed on the screen then evaluate m m stand for modification equal to a that is image size all over AO over object size. A is the size you measure on the screen. Why AO is the size of the hole of the ray ball, the diameter of the hole on the ray balls. 
and evaluate Emery's power minus one. VI, I repeat the procedure for four other values of U, what is 30 cm, 35 cm, 40 cm, 45 cm, respectively. VI, I tabulate the readings. Then I plot a graph of m raised power minus 1, the inverse of magnification on the vertical axis and u on the horizontal axis. So we have understood the process. So let's go to the calculations. Let me repeat it again. You have a ray bus that is kept behind the screen. The ray bus contains a bulb inside of it. So there should be a bulb inside of the ray bus. So, which is connected to a circuit. So, so the ray bus should be eliminated. Then, in front of the ray bus, you're going to have a hole that has a cross wire on it. That hole or that cross wire stands for the object. So, you are, we're going to measure the size of the, of the diameter of the ray bus with your meter rule, with the CM end of your meter rule. And that will stand for your AO. And that AO stands for the object size or object height. So when you have done that, you keep the lens. You, you, uh, that is the lens there on the lens holder. So at a distance of 25cm from the ray bus, you keep a screen at the back of the, of the lens. Then when you have done that, you adjust the screen. You shift the screen forward and backward until a sharp image of this object that is the image of the crosswire appears on the screen then you stop moving they measure the size or the diameter of the image formed on the screen and that is your a and then when you have done that you record whatever you are asked to record and then manipulate you now find m equal to a over ao m is magnification where a is the image size and ao is the object size so in this experiment the value of the AO remains constant because the size of the, the diameter of the ray bus remains constant, cannot change. But the values of A, that the image diameter will change depending on the distance between the, depending on the distance between the lens and the ray bus. So if the value of U increases, the value of A will also increase likely. So the value of A will change, but the value of AO remains constant. So let's go to the calculations. So for the calculation, there are certain formula we need to understand. One is the lens formula, which are seen there. One over V, what one over F minus one over U. So that the lens formula, where we already made one over V the solve the formula. Then coming down, we take the LCM of F and U, which is UF. We now divide F, UF by F. We have U on top. Divide UF by u we have f on top so now i have one over f v equal to u minus f all over u f invert both sides that is turn one over v upside down and turn u minus f over u f upside down we now have this equation v equal to u f all over u minus f so making v the subject of the formula we need this equation take good for our calculation v the image distance is equal to the object distance times the focal length all over u minus f the number one formula we need for the calculation number two formula we need is i h over o h i h means the image height o h means the object height or size equal to v over u that the formula for magnification where i h is small a which you measure from your diagram which is uh, the the size of the image form on the screen and AO is the size of your, of the, of the, uh, that is the whole of the ray bus, which is constant in the experiment. So what we will now do, we will now replace IH with A, replace OH with AO, equal to V over U. We will now make A the subject. A becomes V times AO over U. So these two equations, V equal to UF, all over u minus f and then a equal to v times a over u they are very important in the first formula v is the image distance u is the object distance which is given to you in the equation f is the 
focal length and then u is the object distance of course f focal length then coming to the next the other formula a is the image size that we form on the screen then v the image distance ao is the object size which is the size of your of your ray boss and then u is the object distance so let's go to the first calculation for the first question we are told to take u at 25 cm that is to set the lens to be 25 cm from the pin hole that is our u focal length of the lens given to us in this practical is 15 cm that is constant we now apply this formula v equal to uf all over u minus f to calculate the value of our v so v becomes 25 times 15 all over 25 minus 15 substitution that will give us 37.5 cm that is v remember you are not asked to measure v so the value of v will not appear on the table we are going to obtain v fair because we need to calculate our a which is the image size so having obtained v you go then and use the other formula a equal to v times a o over u that becomes 37.5 times 2.5 over 25. Remember that your V is 37.5 there. And your AO, how do I get AO? We chose a diameter. So the ray boss we have here, the size is 2.5. So you can use any value. You can use 2.5, you can use 2, you can use 3, you can use 4. So ray boss, the, the size of uh, the diameter of the hole on the ray boss can vary. Just pick any value and your calculation will be okay. 7.5 times 2.5 over 25. So 25, remember, is the object distance I use here. So when you solve this, you have 3.75 cm. So we're going to report, report our A on the uh, table of value. Our A for, the, for when you use 25 cm, our image size A is 3.5 cm. So here we report our work. So when you use 5 cm, we write 25, that the first value given in the equation, 0 0.00, object distance to 5 cm. Then we calculate the, the image size or image height to be equal to 3.75. So write 3.750. Record all your values to 4 sl four signal figures so we now look for m m is magnification and they say that m is equal to a over a o remember that we chose 2.5 cm at the object side at the size of the the diameter of the ray boss so as i said you can choose 3 cm you can choose 2.5 you can choose 2 you can choose 1.5 you can use choose 4 to do this so it doesn't matter whatever you choose for they be within the range of 1.5 to 4 cm so having done that we now calculate our magnification using a m equal to a over a o our a is 2 3.75 here our a o is constant that why it's not in the table which is 2.5 so here we go so our A is 3.75 when you use 25 cm from our calculation. Our A is constant. That is the size of the whole of the, the of the ray border as as our object's uh, height or size. So to calculate our M, M is A over A O. Substituting, we have 3.75 over 2.5, and that will give us 1.5 as our magnification. So we we'll report our work. So here we report M as 1.5, 1 1.500 1 0, 0 to 4 SF as a magnification. Having done that, we now go to the next column. We are asked to find M inverse. That is 1 over M. To find M inverse, 1 over M, we now do 1 over 1 1.5, and that will give us 0 0.6667 to 4 SF. 0 0.6667 to 4 FF. SF. We now report here 0 0.6667. As I said, keep all your values to 4 SF. So go to the next one. 
we are told to place the the mirror the lens at a distance of 30 cm number two experiment 30 cm from the from the ray boss so are you is 30 cm so let's go to go to calculation so here we are number two when you use 30 cm focal length of the lens remains constant which is 15 cm given the specimen then applying we first of find the image distance using the formula v equal to uf all over u minus f so substituting 30 times 15 30 for u 15 for f all over 30 minus 15 and that will give us the same 30.0 cm so find your we will now look for the image size so that is a small a using v times a o object size or the size of the ray bus hole all over u we now have 30 times 2.5 over 30 and that will give us 2.5 centimeters so when u is 30 the image size is 2.5 to report our work so on the table when u is 30 our a is 2.5 reported there 2.50024 sf the next is to find our magnification which should be a which is 2.5 all over ao all of ao remains 2.5 also remember that our ao is constant that the size of the whole of your ray boss which i told you what to do so our a is 2.5 ao is 2.5 so if you divide the two you see get this you get one one point zero zero two four sf then the next column is the inverse of the migration so the inverse of one will see give us the same one point zero 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 so we'll go to the third experiment here we're taking our u as thirty five point zero zero so we we'll have to calculate our image distance when you use 35 cm and focal length is constant applying the formula for image distance uf all over u minus f we're going to be 35 times 15 all over 35 minus 15 if you solve it you're going to have 26.25 centimeter so to find our image size we have v times ao over u substituting our v here is 26.25 our AO, AO, which is constant, 2.5. Then our U for this is 35. We so we have 1.875. Remember that the meet, you are measuring this in the actual experiment. You're going to measure with a meter rule or a ruler. And the meter rule measure to the nearest one decimal place. So it's wrong for you to write 1.875. Had it been that it's 1.85, that would be okay. Well, now that if it's 1.85, we see it as being between 1.8 and 1.9. But for you to write 1.875, the meter root sensitivity is only 0 0.1, 1, 1 decimal place. So you now take 1.9 or 1.90. So that is it. Be very careful in your calculation. So for 35 cm object distance, we got 1.90 as our as our image size or distance record all the values on your table to 4 sf we now look for magnification how to get magnification going to be a over a or that is image size 1.9 a o which is constant all over 2.5 we get our m so let's go to calculation so, so for the calculation when the image size is 1.90 cm, the object distance is at 5 cm, as you can see that. So, for the distance of 5 cm, our image size was obtained by calculation as 1.90. And then the object size, which is the size of the whole of the P of the ray bus, is 2.5, as we said initially. Then our M is A over A, which is 1.9 over 2.5. That gives us 0.76. 0 0.76 as our magnification to report our work so now report 0 0.76 0, 0 to 4 sf so we'll now go to the inverse of the magnification that is 1 over 0 0.76 so when we do that 1 over 0 0.76 will give us 1.316 
to 4SF. We go to the fourth experiment, taking our object distance as 40.00 cm. 40.00 cm. So let's calculate our E, that the image size. So let's look at the calculation. When the object distance is 40 cm, focal length remains constant 15 cm. This 15 is constant throughout the whole experiment. So our V is UF all over U minus F. We're going to be 40 times 15 by substitution over 40 minus 15. And that will give us 24 centimeter. So we we'll have A going to be V times AO over U. That is applying the formula we introduced earlier on. Our V is 24. Our AO, the size of the whole of the ray boss, 2.5 all over 40. Solving, we have 1.5 cm. So our image size should be 1.5 centimeter. So we report here 1.500 centimeter. So we'll go to the magnification, which is the image size the over the object size will divide 1.5 by 2.5. So I have the calculation here. Image size 1.5 cm and the object distance we are considering is 40 cm. So object distance with the size of the of the ray boss who there is 2.5. Applying magnification formula A over AO, which is 1.5 over 2.5 and that give us 0 0.60 so our m is 0 0.60 so report our work our m is 0 0.6024 sf significant figures we now go to the next color which is the inverse of m the inverse of m is 1 over 0 0.6 that give us 1.667 1.667 so we'll now report here 1.667 so having done that we we'll go to the fifth experiment where the object distance is kept at 50 sorry at 45.00 so they do the calculation for the image size and then go to the graphing so for the 45 c a similar process follows Focal length is 15 cm, then V, UF all over U minus F, 45 times 15, all over 45 minus 15, that gives us 22.5 cm. Having obtained V, we will now look for the image size using A, V times AO all over U, that becomes 22.5 times 2.5 all over 45, and that will give us 1.25 centimeter. So report here. 1.25024 sf we we'll now go to magnification which is be a which should be a over a we we'll divide 1.25 by the constant uh, object is which is 2.5 and when we we'll do that we we'll get 0 0.5 so report our m as 0 0.5 triple 0 to 4 sf we we'll now find the next column, the inverse of M, that is 1 over 0 0.5, and that will give us 2.30. So now let's go through our reading and then go to the graphing. So we have the experiments, serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What are we measuring? We're measuring the AO, which is the size of the whole of the ray boss which stands for our we stand for our object size and i say you can if you can range from 1.5 to 4 c you can choose 1.5 for your calculation you can choose 2 you can choose 2.5 you can choose 3 you can choose 4 for a very large hole then we we'll have on the table the column serial number the, the experimental numbers then u which is the object distance the distance between the the lens and the and the ray boss our a which is the size of the image form on the screen our m which is the magnification which is going to be a whatever value you got in a could divided by 2.5 or whatever you use as a as a AO. then the inverse of m which is 1 over m so for the 25 cm 
uh, when you use the vice CM, our uh, A is 3.75, our uh, M is 1.5, our uh, inverse of M is 0 0.667. So when you, you use static CM, our uh, A is 2.5, our uh, M is 1.0, the inverse of M is also the same one. When you use static CM, our uh, A, uh, A is 1.9, our uh, M is 0 0.76, then the inverse is 1.316. When u is 40 cm, our a is 1.5, our m is 0 0.6, then the inverse of m is 1.667. When u is 45 cm, our image size a is 1.25, our a m is 0 0.5, and then the inverse of m is 0 0.2. So that is the table of them for this experiment. You can try your own. You must not use 25, 35, 30, 35, and 40. You can start from 30, then 35, 40, 45, and then 50. So vary your readings and then get a graph and see how it looks like. So let's look at the graph of this experiment and see how it looks like. So for the graph, we are asked to plot the inverse of M on the vertical axis. Look at the M inverse, 0 0.6667, 1.0, 1.316, 1 1.667, and 2.0. This value is 0 0.0666. So we're plotting to the nearest to the small places. So this will be 0 0.67. So, and the higher value is two. So let's look at the scale we chose for the vertical axis. So we chose a scale of 4 cm for 0 0.5 units on the vertical axis. You can see two buses in a standard graph, just like the one using Wayek. A, a, a bus is 2 cm, so two buses is 4 cm. 4 cm for 0 0.5, the next two bus, buses 1.0, the next two buses 1.5, the next two 2.0. The highest value on the M minus 1 axis is 2.0. And the least value is 0 0.5, 0 0.667. So that will start from 0 0.5. Then on the horizontal axis, we're well, asked to plot you on the horizontal axis. We have a horizontal is called abscissa, while vertical is called ordinate. So on the horizontal axis, we have u 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. That is the object distances on the horizontal axis. So let's look at our scale. So you can see the horizontal axis. We chose a scale of 10 cm to one boss, and one boss is two centimeter. So two cm to 10 units. You can 10, sorry, 10 units to one boss. That is two cm to to 10 units. So you can see each boss interval is 10, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Before you plot your graph, you need to understand what one line stands for on both axes. On the horizontal axis we are looking at. So since we are taking 10 cm for one, 10 units for one boss, and inside one boss there are 10 lines, that means each line is going to be 10 over 10, giving us one, one unit for each tiny line on the vertical axis. Then going to the, on the horizontal axis, sorry. Then going to the vertical axis to know what one line stands for. Since we are using 0 0.5 as the scale, and there are for two buses, and in two buses there are 20 lines, 10 lines for one bus, then 20 lines divide 0 0.5 by 20, and that will give us 0 0.025 for one line. So you can easily count to your readings. So you see the nature of our graph. Plotted, we are plotted there. See the points. You see that? So we have three points perfectly on the straight line and the fourth point lying very close to the straight line. So you can see that. Then the other one is off. So you don't have to force it. So you consider that one as experimental error. Yeah, my plate, you don't have to push all the points to the straight line. It should look like a real experiment. So when you have done that, you now move down and see that the graph did not start from zero. Look at where it caught. We are asked to find the intercept on the horizontal axis. Look at the intercept. If you count it, after 10, we have 11. Since one line is one unit on horizontal axis, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, close to 15 or thereabout. So the intercept is 15, should be 15. 
so this our graph is almost perfect 15 cm and you know what the 15 cm stand for the the it stands for the focal length of the lens you use the lens again this experiment is 15 cm focal length so your intercept if you have a good experiment should be at 15 cm on the horizontal as it when you plot the inverse of m against the object distance which is a u your intercept definitely must be at 15 cm or something very close to 15 cm if not the experiment is not good so let's go to the slope of the graph to find the slope we we'll have to take uh, two points on the graph. So one of the points is on the straight line. The other point is off the straight line. We don't have to take points. On the, the points on the straight line are very close. So we have to get, take a wider range. So we we'll look at the intercept on the vertical axis. The higher coordinate is 1.5. The lower coordinate on the vertical axis is about, one, is about uh, 0 0.7. About 0, 0 0.7. So then going to the uh, the the horizontal axis the coordinate here is 40 there and the coordinate on the other side is around 20 something 22 or thereabout so let's look at the slope we calculated so our slope is change on m inverse all of our change on v as is so we have the coordinates 1.5 minus 0 0.7 on the vertical as is all over 40 minus 2.25 on the horizontal as is that give us 0 0.8 all over 17.5 and that give us um 0 0.046 centimeter approximately 0 0.05 centimeter remember that your m inverse has no unit Migration has no unit. Why uh, changing not V, rather changing corrected. So changing U is uh, that the object distance is in centimeter. So the denominator has no unit. Why the denominator is expressed in cm in cm. So the slope will now be 0 0.8 all over 17.5, and that be 0 0.046 per centimeter centimeter that is the slope so at this juncture we're going to draw the cutting for this first experiment on number one alternative b uh, may or june 2024 physics practical physics examination week physics examination this is the model one of the experiment the model one because questions can be twisted in different forms from this particular number so this is number one question, but this is a model one. We're going to provide the model two uh, and model three. We're going to give three different models on this particular experiment that involve lens. You have to take your time to understand that similar to themselves. So you want to take your time to understand, view, watch the video, do the calculations, and then and see how it goes. And also, in few hours time, we're going to provide also uh, the, uh, ways of manipulating uh, obtaining values for the second experiment, the number two, which is electricity, and number three, which involves oscillations. So we're going to do that in this channel. For those of you that are subscribers, invite your friends, share videos, let your friends watch this, and then understand how this can be done easily without doing an experiment and obtaining their values and getting the accurate answers. The ones, the one we did for alternative A. Those of you that did alternative A, uh, physics practical, you saw that uh, our values were very accurate. Those of you that followed us, that watched our video, and they watched the manipulation of uh, Archimedes principle we provided on the channel that was very, very sweet. Those of you that followed us, we were able to get testimony that did very well. So if you're on this channel, you have nothing to lose. So invite your friends, let them enjoy what you're enjoying. Let them pass the examination at, in flying colors. So, thank you for viewing. Thank you.